Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York, and all the clouds that lord upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our stern alarms changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures. And if King Edward be as true and just as I am subtle, false and treacherous, this day should Clarence closely be mewed up about a prophecy which says that G of Edward's heirs, the murderer, shall be. Ah! Wow. Was good. Simon! Hey, we're gonna have to do the again. Kid. You just okay. your scene. Okay. Oh, God. So? Is <laughs> that lunch? Yeah? What do you want? What took you so long to get to the door? Well, I... I'm here to see my grandson, Oliver! Oliver's not here right now, so if you could... You know how long it'll be before Oliver gets back? He's gonna be gone all day, so you should probably go. I'll have Arnold... Oliver! Oliver call you when he gets home. Do you realize how long it took me to get here? I need to rest a bit. Well, I'm running late, so if you could... I'm just gonna come on! Go rest down on this big, comfy chair. Rest my bones a bit. Fine, do whatever you want, lady. <sighs> hey, Swizzle Stick, can you bring me down my walker, please? That's nice. Thank you. Here you go. Uh, Bookie, can you bring me some water, please? Come on, lady, I really gotta go. <laughs> Fine. Oliver! What? My grandson's name is Oliver! Right. Oliver. Not Arnold. Why did you call him Arnold? I didn't say Arnold. Mm. Lying to an old woman. Come on, lady, let go. What's this apartment number? What? If you truly live here, you'll know what the apartment number is. 
It's apartment number two. Eh? Wrong! Wrong! Who are you? Why are you here? Come on, old lady, let me go. You're a burglar, aren't you? Shut up, lady. Burglar! Burglar! Why are you so strong? I eat my Wheaties! Cops! Police! Burglar! Let go of me or I'm gonna hit you. What did you say? Let go of me or I'm going to hit you. You hit me and I'm going to destroy you. I'll enjoy making you a eunuch. It was like blue striped shirt. It was like dark blue and then light blue. Oh, uh, yes, I know. Oh, oh. Hello, ladies. Now, what do we got going on tonight? Get out of the house. Seriously. Take your testosterone filled man body and get out of our presence. You you man. Yeah, that's yeah. Just, I just wanted to know. Get out of here. Fine. 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 That was fun. We should call more men over. Just do that same thing and kick them out again. No, no, no. No more men. They're so... So... Icky. Yeah, there yeah, it so is. Icky. Ben yeah. isn't that bad, though. He's the worst. I have to agree with Jenny on this one. Ben's not that bad. I mean, he's a little off-putting. Overbearing. Obnoxious. Off-putting. Overbearing. Obnoxious. Let's stop with the O arguments here. Obstinate, objectionable, obstructive, obtrusive, odd, uh, offensive, obscene. That's enough. Ox-like. I said that's enough. An obstacle. I said, wait, what? Uh, nothing. She just said an obstacle. No, I didn't. Yeah, you did. What is he obstructing? Hey, how about men, huh? Yuck. What is he a... Oh. My. God. It all makes sense now. What does? You! What do you mean? Grade school, middle school, high school, college, all that time. You were always there. Even now, you get a job right next to my apartment. I don't understand. Any problems I've had with guys in the past, you've been involved one way or another. Oh my God. Either you love messing with her life, or you're in love with me, aren't you? Uh, I, I, uh... Is this true? My life is just a mess. Ryan? 
Okay. Okay. It's true. I love you. And I can't stand seeing you with Ben. He is so awful. No, he isn't. Do you have feelings for my boyfriend? Technically, he's not your boyfriend. You broke up with him. Answer the question. So, Ryan, you're in love with Jenny. Yes. Do you have feelings for Ben? Yes. Yes, I have feelings for Ben. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. It's I can like explain. Ended. Okay, so he just we met at each other in elementary help. school, and it was the best day of my life. And then I followed and you to middle school, and then I went school. to high school, and, and I changed high schools to be with you, and then I went to college with you, and I work at the coffee shop. Feel anything, but at the same time, I work at the coffee shop right outside your apartment. I know, but all sounds here. I get it. But Jenny, you were the most beautiful person I have ever seen in my entire life. But at the same time, I need you to know your your nose just fits perfectly with Jenny's eyes. I can't let you. I can't live without you and I don't want to live without you. I love you and all I want to do is hold you for the rest of my life. I want to hold your hand and I just can't live without you. All I want to do is hold you in my arms for the rest of my life. All I want to do is hold your hand and hey, don't touch her. Let go of me. Not so rough, you boyfriend stealer. That wasn't rough, you bum haired freak. Jenny, are you okay? Delaney, knock it off. Oh, 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 I'm gay. I, I'm gay. Somebody forgot to lock the door again. Looks like we're going to have to dress that in the roommate's meeting. Yep. So we'll let the bag in the middle of the floor. Could trip and stumble. Looks like we're going to have to dress that to the meeting as well. Yep. Just don't get them. People can be so inconsiderate. Just lock the door when you leave. Pick up your bag. It's not rocket science, it's common sense. Do you know what I mean, Kate? Um, yeah. What's that? Whoa! That's a dead body. No, it isn't. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to have a roommate's meeting about this, too. Kate, be quiet. Don't leave your dead bodies everywhere. Kate! I, someone's gonna come and trip on them and hurt themselves. Stop it! Hey, buddy! Hello? Are you okay? Um, um check to see if he's a pulse. What? I, I am not doing that. Oh, you could check his wrist like this, or his Stop neck. Stop it! Like no, I'm not no. going to do it. You do no. it since you know no. how. No. Yes, no. I'm not, you. I'm no. not doing it. You. No, no, you do it. You oh. do it. I'm not. No, I am not doing it. You do that. No. no. Do it. Fine, I'll do it. Oh, hi. Electrical box? Really? Well, I don't see any problems with that. We are here in the apartment right now. And oh, yes, please feel free to stop by at any time. Okay. Very good. We'll see you in a little bit then. Okay. Goodbye. Who was that? The landlord. Some electrical work is being done downstairs and he wanted to check on the apartment on the second floor for any issues. That's cool. When is he going to stop by? Uh, about five minutes. What? What? Oh. Calm down. We don't even know if this guy is dead. Yep, he's dead, 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 dead. So he's dead. What should we do? Call the police, of course. We can't call the police. If the landlord finds a dead body in this apartment, he'll kick us out. We need to call the police, Simon. They will know what to do. What if they think we did this to him? 
We can't go to jail. I won't do well in jail. Calm down, Simon. We'll get through this together. Why am I the voice of reason here? I feel way out of my depth. Cade, listen to me. We can't go to jail. Do you know what happens to people like us in prison? No. What? Why would you tell me that? I'm gonna have nightmares! They're not going to be nightmares. They're going to be true reality if we don't do something with this body. Okay, but promise me that we'll call the police after the landlord leaves. I promise. We are not calling the police. I don't want to admit it, but this is not the first time I've had to deal with a dead body, and it did not end well for me. You see, there was this one time at band camp when this kid, Padesh Karami, the geeky oboe player, had an asthma attack while he thought he was being chased in the forest by a bear. It was me. Yeah, it was me. He saw me in my bear costume, screamed, started breathing heavy, and started to run. Ran headfirst into a tree. His last words to me, he said, you mother. What are we going to do? We can't hide him anywhere. The landlord's going to be looking in every nook and cranny. We can hide him in plain sight. In plain sight? Oh, like that movie that we saw a couple weeks back, uh, Weekend at... Uh, uh, yes, yes. Yes. Um, now, will you help me sit him up? I am not touching that. That's what you'll be saying to your cellmate in prison if you don't help me sit him up! <sighs> okay, now what? Let's put him in the chair. No, I like that chair! Kate! No! I am not letting you put a dead guy in that chair. I like that chair, and I'm not letting you ruin that for me. I ask so little. Okay, okay, well, put him in the couch then. I'm going to have nightmares. Calm down, okay? Look at my hand. Oh, what the hell? I have a dead body on me. <laughs> Who is it? Landlord. Uh, one moment, please. Sorry for the intrusion, guys. I just need to check some things in the apartment, y'all, and then, uh, can I get back to the kitchen and take a look at the breaker box, eh? Oh, not at all. Thanks. This won't take too long. Hey, is, uh, is he okay? Oh, that, that's Carl. He's such a kidder. Oh, yeah, that's Carl. Such a jokester. Um, the kitchen is right this way. electricity anywhere in the apartment. Uh, you fellas okay down there? Fine, fine. Yeah, you see, Carl just broke up with his girlfriend and he's a bit emotionally overwhelmed. Oh, yeah, yeah. we've all been there. Oh, I've gone through some pretty rough emotional times myself, yeah? Heck, more than once. Ah, there was this woman named Velma. Oh. She do a number on me. Yeah, I ended up out on a fishing boat in the middle of the Great Lakes scooping fish guts, the SS Kumquat. But you know what? I got through my heartache and you'll get through yours too. Don't worry. Say, what's your girl's name? Oh, Carl, he's so upset and he can't even say her name. 
Her name is Betty. Betty Sue. And Betty Sue got married. Oh, that's the roughest right there, yeah? Jeez, holy moly. Yeah, you think you're going to spend your whole life with someone, and then they go off and they do something like that? Oof, duh. Well, as the skipper of the old SS Kumquat used to say, there are lots of fish in that there old Great Lake Sea. There, there, Kyle. Carl, Carl, things will get better. Well, I'd better get on back to work, fellas. Oh, and uh, don't you worry there, Carl. Things will start looking up for you and be right as rain. Goodbye. You guys keep your stick on the ice. Thanks for the advice. Bye. So I, I just look here in the camera right here uh, and talk to it. Um, okay. Hello. My name is Ignatius P. Freely. I, I go by IP. I am the landlord of the apartment here on Valhalla Road, uh, where we have two one-bedroom apartments for rent currently. Oh, one more thing there, fellas. I forgot to tell you, they're going to be doing some work outside at the junction box. They're going to kill the electricity to the whole apartment place, okay? So, I just thought you should know. Bye now. Does no one care that I just came out? I'm out. Out of the closet. Hello? Blake! Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry, Blake! It was just in the heat of the moment. I'm so sorry! Why now? Why tell us in the middle of a fight? Because I hate it when we fight. Come on, guys. Look at the current state of our country. Of our city. There's so much division. So much hate. And I can't stand it anymore. We deserve so much more. It, it has to start somewhere, so why not here? I'm gay. Accept me for who I am. <laughs> I want us to be honest with each other. I want us to support each other no matter what. Most of all, I want us to be something more than what we are right now. I want us to be there for each other and be honest with ourselves. Be better. Be strong. Be honest. Yeah. Yeah. My name is Ryan, I've always been in love with Jenny, and I realize I am more than just a stalker, and I need to stop breaking into her apartment at night and watching her sleep, and I need to become more of what I am, and I can do this because I am strong. I am Jenny. I'm a strong, straight woman who will soon be moving into a high security building, but I will always love and support my friends for who they are, because I believe in love and friendship. My name is Delaney, and I too am a strong woman and who will never try to hurt her friends again, especially when it comes to boys. I'm sorry. I too am a strong woman and will always be there for my friends. My name is Harper McCoy. I'm a strong cowgirl. I like cowboys, eating my seats, and bull riding. And I too support my friends. I'm Blake Ruskin. I'm a woman. I'm gay. I have a voice. And I'm strong. We are all strong. Yes! yes! <laughs> Woo! I, uh, came in to get a soda. I can come back. Yes. Apartment 2B of 2387 North Valhalla Road. Yes. Mm-hmm. The police are on their way. Goodbye. Thank goodness. I need to put this all behind me. Where are you going? To my bedroom. I can't stand to be in the same room as that dead guy. Yuck. You don't even know who he is. What he's doing here. Anything. Well, that's for the police to figure out. Bye. Yuck. I wait for the police in my room.
You mess with the best, you get the rest. Idiot. I'm Edna Green, and I'm the proud grandmother of Oliver Bright. What? Why did I go over to Oliver's apartment today? Well, Oliver's always telling me that I need to get out more. Move more. Move, move, move. I need to get out of my apartment, not sit there and watch television. Although I do like some good television. It's true. Yeah, so I thought I'd prove to him that I could do it. World's a lot better place. Oliver makes my life a lot brighter. What? What? What do you mean, what's it like to have a transgender grandchild? What kind of idiotic, moronic statement is that for the l <sighs> This is why I don't like to go out. It's scary out there. Lots of stupid pe Get out of, get out of my way. Um, Cage, will you get out here? No! Cage, will you come out here? What? Look! Why did you move the body closer to the door? I didn't move the body closer to the door. I'm looking right at it, Simon. It's closer to the door. Well, I'm telling you, I did not move the body closer to the door. I don't know how it's moved from there to there. Well, I didn't move it. And I didn't move it either. So if you didn't move it and I didn't move it, then who moved? Have Oliver call you when I get home. Oliver call you when he get home. Oliver call you when he get home. Gets home. Stand by. He's fine. He's fine, Noah. No. What took you so long to get to the door? Action. Sorry. What took you so long to get to the door? Oh, Peanut, can you bring down my walker for me? Hey, Swizzle Stick, can you bring me down my walker, please? Oh, Sweet Nuts, can you bring down my walker for me? Action. I had a dead body! Oh, that's not my line, sorry. Nightmares, nightmares. Nightmares! I'm going to have nightmares! Oh, calm down, okay? Look at my hand still? I'm sorry. Okay, thanks, uh... Oh, no, I just... Blew that to pieces! Cut! <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's... <laughs> sorry. It's sorry. Cut. Okay. Yeah, there was this girl, Velma. Oh, she wrecked me. Ah, uh, I totally went off. <laughs> so what's your gal's name, eh? Oh, yeah, Carl. He's so... <laughs> That's a dead body. No, it isn't. I guess we're gonna have to have a roommate's. Sorry. Okay. Action. What are we going to do? The landlord. Sorry, what? Are we recording? Yep. Action. And I'm 
never coming back to this apartment again. Eunuch. Little dick. Idiot. Okay, one more time without saying dick. <laughs> I can't say dick. 